This is Dr. Shannon Wong. I'm an ophthalmologist at Austin Eye. I'm going to describe how we insert a crystal lens AO using the crystal cert insertion system. I backfill my cartridge with OcuCoat Viscoelastic. Then we use a smooth forcep to grasp the lens from the lens cartridge. I place it where the leading haptic is round and to the right and then make sure that the haptics are underneath the groove of the crystal cert uh, rightmost uh, aspect of the crystal cert injector. I push the trailing haptic always to be in front of the white plunger then we close the crystal cert chamber roof it doesn't matter if the leading haptic is uh, forward or backward. I just make sure that the haptics are not trapped within the groove. Our corneal incision is 2.8 millimeters in diameter. I've filled the bag with OcuCoat. Then we use the smooth forcep to stabilize the eye. There's no need to widen our incision. The crystal cert slides nicely in. I place the tip in the visual axis and then slowly inject the crystal lens AO. Uh, I try to uh, point the tip of the cartridge down toward the back of the eye so that the leading haptics go into the bag underneath the anterior capsule leaflets. I have both leading haptics underneath the anterior capsule. We insert the lens, usually where I'm not able to uh, put all four haptics underneath the uh, anterior capsule leaflets. So usually the, in my technique, the trailing haptics remain in the uh, anterior chamber, anterior to the iris plane, but that's not a problem. I use a silicone tip IA. The silicone tip is made by MST Microsurgical. I just push the lens uh, forward and I let one of the remaining haptics go underneath the bag and then I rotate the lens toward that haptic and the final haptic goes underneath the anterior capsule leaflet. So our entire IOL is now inside the capsular bag and I then remove the viscoelastic. Uh, I always spin the crystal ends around to facilitate removal of any equatorial cortical fragments or remnants or strands that remain at the end of the case. And it also helps to, spinning the lens also helps to free up any viscoelastic. So I want to make sure my IOP doesn't go too high afterwards. This concludes my technique for insertion of the crystal lens AO using the crystal cert. Thank you very much for your time and attention.